All right, today we're going to be opening a bottle of wine. I know most of you know how, but we're going to get to some details here that you might not be practicing, which will make it look a little better, a little more polished, and you'll be coming off as the classiest person in the room next time you're asked to open a bottle of wine. Today's wine that we'll be opening is the uh, Francis Coppola Cabernet Sauvignon 2014. And uh, we'll be using our double-hinged waiter's friend here. See the first hinge and the second right there. Uh, we use the double-hinged so that it doesn't chip the lip of the bottle when you're on your way out. If you use a lot of the single-hinged ones, they don't have as much give, so then it chips it a little bit. But nonetheless, let's jump into this because got some drinking to do. All right, let's do this. Here's the bottle we'll be opening today, Cabernet. Here's what we call the capsule, or the foil, right? So when you open it, you have your knife. You can use your knife on your waiter's friend. And what you're gonna be looking for is that second tier, first, second tier right here. Now, if you were being tested in a sommelier test, you'd be presenting like so, and then you'd be opening across in as few a cuts as possible. So you would normally do one, then the back, two, and then pull up, show, and wipe, etc. Today we're not going to make it that complicated because we're not in competitions here. We're just going to open it up. And so you're going to be cutting from the side, but you're going to see from this angle and from the other angle. So from the top it looks like this. Right? But then I'm going to open it from the side so you can see the actual cutting motion. Okay. Yep. Take your knife. You're going to put it right underneath here so you can see. And you're going to push so that it cuts. Knives vary in sharpness. You're going to cut from the back, all right, all the way around that second edge. Make sure you got it all the way. Then you're going to pull up. And hopefully, it comes off in one fell swoop, like so. What you end up with is a classy little line right here that keeps this foil from going inside your bottle. You don't want it to go inside your bottle. And if you chip away at the top like people do, you'll get aluminum foil in there is no bueno. C'est très mal. We got the bottle open. It's cut down to the second lip to avoid contamination from the capsule so that it doesn't get any metal in there and contaminate the wine. And we have our cork out here presented on the bottles presented on a wine trivet. You can grab your own wine trivet at home and you can serve it on that. Nonetheless, I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, hopefully you were able to follow each of the steps. It's not too hard, but it's a little confusing in the beginning if you've never used this type of wine opener. Uh, it's definitely something that is fantastic, and you can get these. I got this one at Trader Joe's for like $1.99. So uh, you can get them for not too much money, and they do a fantastic job, super durable, and uh, I can't recommend uh, the double-hinged wine opener, waiter's friend, whatever you want to search it for it on Amazon.com, that's what it's going to be. So, let's drink. All right. Give a little twist there so that we don't get any drip back. That's another little trick. Don't have to make a video for that one. Though. All right, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If so, Please like, subscribe below, and stay tuned for more Winsome Wine Sum. Hmm. It's not bad. We'll try it. It's a few years old from the corner store, so you never know how people treat their bio bottles. Tastes good, though. It's going to open up nicely. All right, so if you liked the video and this helped you out, please hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, 
message me. I do a Thirsty Thursday. Every Thursday, you'll get something in your email box that will have an interesting fact about wine, beer, cocktails, a tippling tip, something to help you on your drinking nights, and it is emailed directly from me to you, so it's a lot of fun, and it's everything from uh, wine recommendations to types of wine, varietals, uh, describe their regions. Uh, the tippling tips are fun because of the fact we've gone over um, how to, uh, if you've had a few cocktails and you need to drive, you know, best practices. <laughs> um, there's fun stuff in there that I've taken from my uh, book and some of my personal material as well as those of the great drinkers of the world. So please subscribe to Thirsty Thursdays, message me, and enjoy. Cheers. Satisfactory.